Welcome to Accounting Terms. By the end of this applet, you should be able to give simple definitions of key accounting terms and be able to recognize examples of six account types. You know that accounting is a series of steps designed to record, organize, and summarize the transactions of a business. The next step is to learn how we record, organize, and summarize, but first, we need to clarify some words or terms that are used in accounting. Unfortunately, you probably already know most, if not all, of these terms, which means that you'll have to push the familiar definition aside and concentrate on the new accounting meanings. This is actually harder than simply learning a new word. The first term is asset. An asset is something a business owns. Your textbook has much more complete definitions, and the official definitions are important, but these short definitions will be handy for getting started. You should memorize these short definitions now. The second term is liability. A liability is an amount a business owes. The third term is stockholder's equity. Stockholder's equity is sometimes called owner's equity because stockholders are the owners of a corporation. Stockholders or owner's equity is leftover assets. We'll talk more about assets, liabilities, and leftover assets in a minute. As it turns out, we find it useful to subdivide stockholders' equity into four categories. They are contributed capital, dividends, revenue, and expense. A short definition of contributed capital is investment by owner. Dividends is defined as withdrawal by owner. A short definition of revenue is earnings. Expense has two useful short definitions, which actually mean the same thing. A cost of doing business or a used up asset. Now let's look at each term more closely. As we do this, we'll use my neighbor, the lawn guy, as an example. My neighbor really does own and operate a lawn care landscaping business. Now, what was the definition of an asset? Something a business owns. What kinds of things would you expect my neighbor's lawn and landscaping business to own? Equipment, like lawn mowers, weed eaters, leaf blowers, trimmers, vehicles, a pickup truck, trailer, and my neighbor's business even owns a dump truck. Hopefully the business owns some cash. The business might own some office furniture. My neighbor's business does not have its own building. All of the equipment and vehicles are parked in front of my neighbor's house, but some businesses own one or more buildings. Another very important thing that many businesses own are accounts receivable. This asset is a little more difficult to identify because it doesn't have physical substance like the other assets, but it can be very valuable. An account receivable is the legal right to receive assets from another business or individual. Some businesses even sell their legal rights to receive, that is their accounts receivable, to banks for cash. Next, what is the short definition of a liability? An amount a business owes. Who would you expect my neighbor's lawn business might owe? M might owe local suppliers with whom the lawn business has an account for things like mulch or fertilizer. My neighbor may have an arrangement with a supplier where the lawn business buys things like fertilizer and herbicides as needed throughout the month. Instead of my neighbor paying at the time of each purchase, the supplier puts the amount due on the lawn business's account with the understanding that my neighbor will pay early next month. During the month then, the lawn business owes the supplier. This debt is called an account payable. An account receivable was a legal right to receive. An account payable is a legal obligation to pay. If the lawn business has any employees, it's likely the business owes employees their wages unless they're paid daily. 
depending on the type of employees, it might owe salaries, a business might owe property taxes, it might owe interest, it might owe for utilities used. Amounts owed for utilities are sometimes called accounts payable instead of utilities payable. But these are all examples of liabilities, amounts a business owes. What is the short definition of stockholders' equity? Leftover assets. Here's why. Let's say that my neighbor is getting ready to retire and move to Florida. The first thing he would have to do is sell all the assets of the business, the equipment, vehicles. He'd have a big pile of cash. The next thing my neighbor would have to do is pay off all the amounts the business owes to suppliers, the utility company, and probably the bank to pay off the balance of the loans on the trucks. My neighbor is left with a smaller pile of cash. These are the assets left over for the owner. So owner's equity or stockholder's equity is the assets that are left for owners after all liabilities have been satisfied. In this example, the leftover assets are in the form of cash, but they could be any type of asset. The next term is contributed capital. We define this as investment by owner. An investment by owner means that an owner took personal assets and transferred them into the business's name. For example, when my neighbor started the lawn business, he probably took some of his personal cash and deposited it into the business's bank account. Another example is when a person gives cash to a corporation in exchange for shares of the corporation's stock. Keep in mind that stockholders are the owners of the corporation. So personal assets are transferred from owners into the business's name. This is an investment by owner. Contributed capital is the result of an owner putting assets into a business. Dividends or withdrawals by owner are the opposite of investments by owner. A withdrawal by owner occurs when an owner takes assets out of the business for personal use. For example, my neighbor the lawn guy supports himself and his family through the lawn business. The business is his full-time job. So it is likely that he regularly, maybe every Friday, withdraws cash from the business's bank account and deposits it into his personal bank account. This is a withdrawal by owner. Or if a business is organized as a corporation, cash going from the business to its owners, stockholders, has a specific name, dividend, but it is still a withdrawal by owner. Revenue means earnings. Whenever a business earns, it has revenues. Generally, businesses earn either by providing services or by selling merchandise. When my neighbor mows a client's lawn, he has earned. So I have a question for you. Let's say that my neighbor has an agreement with one of his customers, whereby my neighbor will mow as often as necessary during the month, and the customer will pay him on the first day of the following month. They agree on $100 per mowing. It's a good size lawn. So on July 2nd, my neighbor mows the customer's lawn, knowing that he'll receive $100 on August 1st. As he drives away from the customer's lawn, has my neighbor earned? Yes or no? Commit one way or the other. Did you say yes? Yes, my neighbor earned as soon as he mowed the lawn or provided services, regardless of when he receives cash. A clothing store earns when it sells merchandise. A landlord earns when tenants have use of his property. A management consultant has earnings when she has delivered the report she was hired to prepare. An expense is a cost of doing business or a used up asset. Costs of doing business may include utilities expense, rent expense, and wages expense. Supplies start out as assets, something a business owns. Then as the supplies are used up, the business no longer has an asset, but rather a cost of doing business. 
supplies expense. My neighbor can provide another example. Let's say that he loaded the riding lawnmower on the trailer and drove to a gas station where he filled the lawnmower with gas and either used a credit card or paid cash. At this point, the business owns the gas, so the gas is an asset. Then my neighbor hauls the mower to a client and mows the lawn using all of the gas. The gas is no longer an asset and its cost has now become an expense, a cost of doing business. I can give you two hints that should make learning accounting easier for you. The first hint is to memorize the short definitions provided in this applet. Asset, something a business owns, liability, an amount a business owes, stockholders' equity, leftover assets, contributed capital, investment by owner, dividends, withdrawal by owner, revenue, earnings, expense, a cost of doing business, or a used up asset. The second hint has to do with account names. The examples we used to understand assets, liabilities, revenues, and expenses are also names of accounts that we'll use when we record, organize, and summarize. Some general account name guidelines may be useful. Any account name that ends with the word payable is a liability. For now, all contributed capital accounts will end with the word stock. Dividend accounts for withdrawals by owner will end with the word dividends Revenue accounts will end with the word revenue or earned or income. Expense accounts will end with the word expense. Eventually, we'll add another term to our list, retained earnings, but you don't need to worry about this yet, all in good time. This concludes the applet accounting terms.